three years, we've had repeated scandals in you know, corruption in politics. Uh, lack of government transparency. Lack of uh, public access to information. The old boys networks. Uh, challenges are in terms of uh, prevention of conflicts of interest. Lack of uh, transparent and uh, accountable rules for lobbying. Suspicions regarding the correctness, the objectivity and independence in the procedure of solving the trials. New anti-corruption law will not be implemented properly. Public-private partnerships and uh, the financing of political life. The party financing is not transparent. Dirty deals uh, between uh, so-called businessmen and some politicians. Abuse of public funds. And the principal actor is the national government. To formulate a coordinated policy. And to strengthen the legislation on bribery of parliamentarians. We got a new lobbying law in the register, but it's not very effective. The judges need to open up and discuss the issues. Tackling corruption involves governments, parliaments, political parties, business, civil society, ordinary citizens. Everyone has a part to play in tackling corruption. Everyone needs to remain vigilant. The situation is clear. Corruption is a major problem across the EU. It ruins lives, it steals from the public purse, and it undermines democracy. The European Commission has its say, now it's your turn. Join with us in sending a message to national governments ahead of the European elections in May. It's time to stop the rot and stand up for integrity in the EU.